what I want to know is like when when your adversary purchases an aircraft or a submarine or something, it's an international deal. It can't be done undercover. Everybody knows uh, that X number of aircraft have been brought, bought or ship or whatever uh, or some guns. But when it comes to drones, nobody knows now. Ki kitna order kiya hai, kya aara hai, isme kya payload dala hai. So there is an element of surprise, and uh, even these loitering munitions that everybody is talking about, wo bhi nahi pata chalta ki adversary ne kitna kharida hai. So how does one uh, how does one deal with this kind of a situation? Yeah, that's a brilliant question because you know it is like this that in over the years the concept of air threat, uh, the numbers, the quantity of aircraft as you brought out, we knew. Pakistan had so many aircraft, China had so many aircraft. You could fly an aircraft four times a day. Your pilot to cockpit to you know aircraft ratio was so much, so you could generate so many sorties per day. So it's on the basis of this that our ammunition calculation was done. Mm. That you know if you have so much of quantitative and qualitative threat, how much do you cater for? But as you bought out, there is no fixed number of drones. So we've got to go back to the drawing board to understand that you know how much of logistic stamina that we require for such a new threat. This new threat has actually, uh, you can't have expensive missiles. It, it doesn't work out that way. It's too expensive. So we've got to have systems in place which, like gun ammunition, which has a greater amount of, you know, sustainability over a period of time because there is no quantity. As you said, you can have 5,000 drones, you can have 10,000, you can have 20,000. Mm. Now, if you have, that means you've got to cater for ammunition. Mm. And I think we've got to get back to understand that how do we cater for this ammunition? Because it's not quantifiable in numbers. And hence the, and not only that, first is the amount of ammunition and secondly is the type of ammunition. Today, if you, you know, if you have the, uh, you have a particular ammunition which is like a stone. So if you throw a stone at a drone, you might hit it, might not hit it. But if you throw a stone which actually fragments into small, small pellets or small, 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 small stones, then you will get maybe five, six drones. So the, L-70 pre-fragmented fuse cartridge is, is the ammunition that we used in, in adequate measure here. And this is the future of how to take on threat of drones is to use pre-fragmented ammunition so that as it comes close to the target, you are dead sure that if it fragments and it throws out these little, little splinters, you will hit a drone rather than just hit a, throw a stone directly.